Hi, my name is Mark and in today's video I'm going to show you the best way to digitize your old VHS, VHSC, and Hi8 tapes. The way we've captured our home movies has evolved over the years, and this evolution has been great, but the only problem is these older formats kind of get left behind. It's a bit of a shame because as technology evolves, it makes it harder to view and share these old memories with those who matter. This is the Video to Digital 2.0, a device that allows you to connect and record directly from your VCR or old camera straight to a USB drive or SD card. It's so easy, there's almost nothing to it. Almost. So before we begin, let's take a look at what you get in the box. The video to digital converter itself, AV cables, a USB power cable and adapter plug, and of course, a manual. Now on the actual device, you've got a USB port and an SD card slot to store captured media, a full-size HDMI port, AV inputs. There's also an S video port for better quality video if you have that option on your device. Now I do love this little screen here, which allows you to see what you're looking to capture, keeping this whole setup very minimal. Now of course, you're going to have to supply the most important things the media, and a working VCR for full-size VHS tapes, as well as these VHS-C tapes. Well, these smaller ones need a tape adapter like this. Now, if you're capturing Hi8 tapes, you're going to need a working camera that will act as your deck. Some decks exist, but they're very hard to find and are actually still quite expensive. Now, first I'll walk you through capturing VHS tapes, and then I'll show you the process I use when capturing my Hi8 tapes using S video as an option. First, let's bring power to this device. Plug it into the wall with the plug adapter or use the USB cable and plug it into your computer. If it doesn't automatically turn on, hit the power button to turn it on. Next up, connect the AV cables that came with the device, white, red, and yellow. Now I'm going to be using the SD card to save the video to, so I would highly recommend using a new card, or at the very least, one that's been backed up and reformatted. Now insert the SD card into the SD slot on the side, with the label of the card facing down. It does take a bit of pressure. You'll hear the little click when it's all the way in. Now before you record for the first time, it's important to check some of the menu settings. Now to do that, simply click on the menu button. Now in the menu system, there are a few options. I would recommend setting the date and time so that when you record it, it will give you the accurate time of the recording, which makes it easier for file managing. Now the only other important options here really are the video source. In this setup, I'm going to be using the AV cables. My VCR only has an AV option, so I'm going to leave it on the AV setting for now. Now you can also change your default storage device to either SD or USB. Now I'm on SD, so I'm going to leave that here for now. You can also schedule recordings, a feature I don't really use, but it's nice to know that it's there. Now that your device is all set up, plug it into your VCR, connect the AV cables to the output connections on the back, pop in your tape, and press play. If connected properly, you should see your video on the screen and hear the audio playing through the little speaker on the side. This should all tell you that you are actually ready to record, so simply cue it up to the part you want to record, hit play on the VCR, and the record button on the video to digital device. And you'll see confirmation of the recording right here. To stop recording, simply press the record stop button again. Every time you repeat this cycle, it will create a new file on your SD card, which you can later transfer directly to your computer. Capturing with these tapes is done in real time, so a 15 minute clip will take 15 minutes. And 15 minutes of captured video will likely take up approximately 550 megabytes on your hard drive, so keep that in mind when capturing video. When you're finished capturing what you want and are ready to transfer these files to the computer, 
simply plug in your SD card or USB drive into your computer. Open up the drive in your Finder or Explore window, navigate to the Video folder, and you'll see all your captured videos right here. Drag and drop these onto your computer hard drive, and there you have it. From here, you can further edit these clips using editing software or simply upload the raw videos to a cloud service and share with your family and friends. If you are looking at this device, just be aware that there is a firmware patch that came out for it not too long ago that fixes a few key things, and I would highly recommend doing that. The info on that process is down in the description. Honestly, I'm really happy with how easy this is to use and how well it's working for both nostalgic viewing and using this old tech in new ways now. Not having to fuss about compression settings makes it highly accessible, and I've noticed you don't even have to worry about interlacing, which was an issue and an extra step to fix using my old adapter. I should say that I wasn't paid to make this video and I didn't receive this product for review. This is something I actively chose to do because I do feel like it can help a lot of you out there who are trying to figure this stuff out. Now, all links to the products used in this video will be in the description below. Now, I'm also down in the comments if there are any questions or concerns. Hit me up down there and I'll do my best to answer. I get how this AV stuff can be a little bit confusing, so I'm happy to help. Now, if you want to stick around, I'll show you how I capture Hi8 tapes using my uh, Sony Handycam Vision circa 1997. Remember what 1997 looked like? What's on the menu this evening, sir? You and McGregor. Choose life, choose a job, choose a career, choose a family, choose your future. Oh. Yeah, it looked a little something like that. Okay, so here is my Sony Handycam Hi8 camera. And for this setup, I'm going to be using my S-Video cable so that the video quality is actually stronger. Now, first up, I'll set up the device. Plug my audio cables into their appropriate inputs. Now the biggest difference here is instead of using this yellow video cable, I'm going to plug in my S video cable. Now I'll have to switch the video signal input on the device itself. So menu, scroll down to video source and click S video. Now plugging those same cables into my camera output, inserting my tape, switching to VTR mode, and I'm ready to record. Simply hit play on the camera and the record button on the video to digital device and wait it out. Now, I should also mention that many cameras have an AV mini output, which is basically a mini jack that looks kind of like a headphone jack that splits into the RCA cables. The process for capturing with that cable is identical to this one, just depends on what cable system your camera or VCR use. All right, well, I hope this video helped you in the steps to figuring this stuff out. This device works really well for my needs, which is why I definitely recommend using it. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Now this is a, uh, a screen test of a uh, Gwendolyn Lovely film. The best part about doing this stuff is finding old, crazy stuff that you thought you'd never see again, like this uh, 1989 MGM audition tape. Hansel and Gretel, starring Mark and Kimberly. I wish I, wish I could play. Play? In Indiana Jones. In Indiana Jones? Pop 3. Pop 3. <laughs> Little did we know that actually was going to become a movie. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. We're going to wrap this up now. Okay? Bye bye.